Well, to be honest about it, we're still trying to catch our breath after the ball game between MPU and St. Clair. And right now we move on to the most anticipated game for today as we continue with the 16th Phil Oil Echo Oil Preseason Cup. It's a battle between De La Salle University Green Archers going up against the University of the Philippines Fighting Maroons. Hello everybody once again. How is your weekend? Benji Santiago with Coach Mike Perez and later on Megan Cabrera joins us at court side. Welcome, welcome everybody. Nakakahinga ka na ba? Grabe nga yung laro natin kanina. And right now, I'm equally very interested and thrilled to cover this game between the Maroons and uh, the Archers. Well, pag, uh, ito, tingnan natin. Ano? May talo na ang UP Fighting Maroons. Mm-hmm. That happened yesterday. Mm-hmm. Ang De La Salle University Green Archers naman. Still unblemished ang mm-hmm. kanilang uh, record after three outings. 3-0. and oh. And this promises to be a game that you could not afford to miss. Yes, taking a look at the Group B standings. La Salle is on top with its 3-0 win-loss card. UP fighting Maroons after St. Clair won earlier. 3-1, identical record of 3-1. In sa Group A natin, ang University Perpetual pa rin ang nangunguna dyan with its 4-1 win-loss card. UP, I do believe and I bet they're going to be coming in full force here in this ball game, not exactly the same way they did it yesterday when they absorbed their first loss. Yeah, three straight wins against FEU, CU, and Faith, and then that loss yesterday in in Adamson. I felt when I watched the game, there was really a lot of, I guess, explore, uh, exploration on the side of uh, UP, especially with Go- Coach Gold being there joining the the bench. Ang parang naman ng De La Salle University Green Archers. We know one thing is for sure. They're always coming in with mm-hmm. full force. May banda pa nga nakasama eh. Yep. So, what a coverage we're going to be having here mm-hmm. <laughs> to contend with the noise. Okay, punta na natin ngayon si Ryan, ang ating venue announcer, to start this ball game para tawagin din yung mga magsisimula para sa larong ito. There you go, the starters have been called out already. We're all set and ready to bring you this ball game here. A lot of people are really excited to see this, and we're happy to bring it to you. Once again, Benji Santiago and, of course, Coach Mike Perez, and uh, later on, Megan Cabrera to report to us from courtside. It is the Fighting Maroons versus the Green Archers 
Well, Kanina, no? Uh, yes. The recognition being given to the Phillips brothers yeah. for being part of the Gilas team who mm -hmm. recaptured the gold in the Southeast Asian Games. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yun nga yung kanilang achievement yesterday. Nandito naman si Jerome Lastimosa. And these guys, the promise of Philippine basketball. Samantala. Lasala unable to score, getting the first possession. Subok naman ito panic ng UP, but this is going to be an offensive foul. Well, immediately Harold Alarcon testing there the defense of uh, Evan Yele. Evan's been that guard that uh, the Lasal Green Archers are actually waiting to explode here in the field oil. So far, he's been pretty decent, but we know that Evan Yele can even perform much better for the Archers. An interesting data, Benji. We don't have Kevin Kamgao starting for the Archers. Oh, okay. Well, they have John El Policarpio for one thing. Uh -huh. uh, one of the right. big men. Dito's para sa Lasal. Itin pa rin yung layup. Malamig ang pagsimula. How about UP? Going malignity oh. off! And John John Felicilda setting it up. Para rito sa UP. Getting the first... Production in this ball game 2 0 yeah. for UP. Yeah, but what a rim run there by uh, Malik Diouf right now. UP in a zone trying to challenge the shooting capabilities from the outside of the archers. A miss by Evan Nelly trying to shoot a three. And once again, it's UP on the offense here. And a foul is called against LaSalle. EJ Abadam and Tinawagan and foul taking a look at this play in UP fighting Maroons Malik Diouf. Yep. Well, he was able to rest yesterday. <laughs> yep. And ang ganda ng basa niya ano, ni Phyllis Hilda. You have to reward that big guy who's running down the floor with you. Seven Gagate in the game right now para sa UP. It's a two to nothing lead for UP. How about this three pointer? Doesn't drop. LaSalle right now. Bright Nwanko grabbing that rebound. Here's the stop and pop move. Still nothing. They think the back of the rim. They got it back. Baseline drive. Oh. That goes! E.J. Abadam opens up the scoring for LaSalle here in the first period. Maybe E.J. Abadam able to go dribble going baseline side. And that defense by C.J. was late. Samantala so missed by Alonco on Parasa UP. And that's going to be a foul at the other end. Harold de la Conpa, and foul. Yeah, they're not happy with that foul by uh, Harold. Guys was too far out on the half court. They need the foul just to stay and uh, keep in pace. EJ Abadam right now handles the basketball going to Evan Nelly. Nelly against John John Felicilla. He gets double teamed. John El Policarpio. Nelly. Nine to shoot. Nelly. A good read. 15 foot jumper. It's long and strong. And ball goes out. And it's UP basketball. Well, a good thing for the Archers fans is that Evan Nelly early on is looking for his shots. Unlike his previous games, he was looking really more to facilitate. Right here, Medyo Hinahanap niya yung uh, opportunity for him to score. All tied up at two here. Inside. Oh, wow! Bright Noncor coming out of nowhere. Well, he's there for that defensive purpose. Right. That's the second time they had run that play on that middle ball screen, trying to clear that left side for that roll. That time around, LaSalle able to recover on that dive. There's a mid-range jumper, and it rattles in. And CJ Cancino gets himself on the board here. What you love about CJ is kahit medyo matagal na siyang nawala, yung pagbalik niya, parang halos hindi nawala. He still has those uh, movements that he normally does previous to that injury. Well, they continue to break him in. Mm -hmm. As he made a comeback. Na. How about this shot? That was bothered by John El Policarpe. They got it back. How about this floater for John John Felicilda? Boy, you love the activity of the Fighting Maroons right now. Everybody just going to the right spots and making the right decisions. 
It's a 6-2 lead right now para sa UP, up by 4. Yeah, somehow you can sense meron tentativeness dito sa opensa uh -huh. ng uh, Green Archers. You know, like this one, CJ right here with a pull-up. Although it's a miss, they got it back to follow. Still nothing for UP and LaSalle clears it. Evan Nelly floats it up. Too strong. Who's got it? Felicilda ends up with the ball. And Evanelli still continues to be empty. Oh! <laughs> Chico Briones! Long distance shot! That's a three! Well, I've covered this guy from a previous uh, tournament and he really has got that good range. Very high IQ player. Larger steal and another steal for UP! Whoa! <laughs> yeah, on Kwanko tried to keep in step with the seven Gagate, but you love that the big guy is actually running that floor and intentional that he's gonna get into that foot race. But as he finished, got clipped. Uh, he had a shot block earlier. This time it's a foul. It's right. called the Bright Nwanko. And so even C C7 very active ngayon on the offensive end Kasi kanina tumira siya from the yep. outside He tried to test it right now in the open floor He didn't wait for his card Just talagang inatake na niya kagad yung open lane Well he was utilized yesterday Although mm -hmm. they lost their game Yeah for the most part in their game yesterday It was Gagate and Belmonte uh -huh. combining And Belmonte is another weapon for the Maroons That's be really been very consistent Ooh. Scoring uh, double digits Tapos your second free throw And lang The seven Gagate will have to sit down uh -huh. Shuffling of the men Shuffling of the personnel here and it's UP off to a real big start here, leading by 8, 10 2 versus LaSalle. Action continues in this matchup between UP and DLSU. And for today, we will be seeing a more complete UP Fighting Maroon squad because CJ Cancino, Harold Alarcon, and Francis Lebron Lopez are back. However, we are still missing the services of JD Kagulangan, who will be fully recovering from his ankle injury. So after taking a hit from Adamson yesterday, where the UP rookies were mostly the front runners, members of the coaching staff say that today they are ready. Warm up palang sa dugout ay game face on na at 100% focus na sila. With back-to-back -back games for UP, it's all about managing their minutes, making sure they are in good condition for their season, and ensuring that even their young members are ready. Benji and Coach Mike. Yeah, thank you very much, Megan Cabrera at courtside. Well, after uh, that setback yesterday. Yeah. One thing is for sure, para sa UP, gigil ito to come up with another win. And Lasal ngayon, only two points, ha? Ang pinapakita. Kiambao is in yeah. the ball game. Francis Lopez for UP is in the ball game. And both these teams are actually taking this game very seriously because this is a huge opportunity to try and explore how well they can perform under these teams that they probably will meet in the playoffs come the UAAP. Kevin, the floater, is short. And here comes Yuki, UP, Chico Briones. Ooh! The raveling at Naitawag. Yeah, that was a good call by the ref to right there. Uh, CJ Can held see, that yeah. ball a uh -oh. little bit as he did that stutter. The but Phillips brothers are on the floor here yeah. for La Salle. Yeah, I was going to say that, Benji, that uh, Coach Topex responding now to that initial onslaught by uh, the Fighting Maroons bringing in uh, Phillips and Kevin Kambao both Phillips for that matter after having played for our Gilas team in the Sea Games So United States of Cambodia <laughs> given a pin, <laughs> right? and they'll be happy to see that oh it's a normal flooring here in San Juan oh <laughs> that's good time good now, this is a different way that they're using Kevin Kambao now. They're making him facilitate off the post, like before when he was up high. A beautiful backdoor 45 cut there by Phillips, recognizing that that spot was free for him to claim. 
He never sees to amaze us with his passing ability to see Kevin Kimbao. And now a three-point play in the offing here for LaSalle. Yeah. Michael Phillips completes it. And it's now 10-5 in favor of UP. And that press is on for LaSalle. A miss on the outside. LaSalle right now. Pero bilis rin gumawa ng depensa ng UP, Benji. Oo naman. First quarter pa lang. Tingnan yeah, natin sa mga susunod na quarters. <laughs> What a pass! Although missing that shot from the corner and uh, yun lang. Kevin Kembao, sabi nga natin, never sees the mazes. Yeah. You see how he gave them a sec second look, a different one from the post. That time around, he spun baseline and tried to feed on the other corner. Six-point advantage here. Para sa UP. They have the basketball. John John Felicilda. Oi, inabot yun. Yep, and the Phillips brothers coupled with Kevin Kambao really making UP think if they want to go in and attack that shaded area. That lane's clogged by the green shirts. Yung nakapalpal din si Mark Donoy. Yep. On uh, John John Felicilda. Precious. Fun again. Diop on the attack. Nope, can't get it to go. He is fouled. And rarely do you see Malik Diouf put the ball on the floor that far out. He started that dribble from the arc on the three uh -huh. and tried to put a little English as he tried to finish. Michael Phillips, his first personal. And Malik Diouf opened up the scoring in this ball game. He is shooting free throws. Can't make the first one. Just a towering presence inside the paint. I don't see Malik Diouf as you see the crowd right here watching the games. He's averaging 9.5 points per ball game. Missing both free throws. Here comes LaSalle right now. Wow, oh, wow. Dina ka intindihan. But look at Malik Diouf actually going on a foot race this time with, with David on the on the front court of LaSalle. They turn it over. Mark Nonoy wasn't ready for the pass. UP up by five. Oh, that, nice, nice play. dish inside. Coaches will always tell you, reject ball screens as much as possible. That time it worked for UP. Michael Phillips missing the long distance shot. Malik Dio, Jerry Abadiano pulls up for three. Oh, Power! wow. Twice we've seen Malik put that ball on the floor. And don't look now, it's already a 10 point lead. It has been erected here by UP Fighting Maroon. Michael Phillips challenged by Malik Tiof. There's gonna be a push on, on Ben. Uh -huh. Yeah. Let's push with Ben. Look at this one. Rejected that screen of that feed. Underhand pass shovel. And this time around, Malik. Trying to be a point guard. <laughs> <laughs> Recognizing shooters on the wing. Well, one thing, Malik Dio. One assist pa lang naman yun. Ayan. A good setup for Jerry Abadiano. Francis Lopez enters the ball game para sa UP. Pero maganda dun yung assist niya. Hindi galing sa post. Eh, galing sa taas. Eh, oh. No? Let's so take a look right now. Raylan Torres playing point. Malik Diop, drop pass inside. Francis Lopez, Michael Phillips with a covering. He goes long distance. Nope. Battle for the loose ball. Malik Diop. Uh, look at this guy playing like it's the regular UAAP season. Really, a lot of pride at stake, if you ask me. Is it but the feeling is that even here in the gym, you can I almost know. feel that that environment and that energy. 15-5 lead for UP. LaSalle. Michael Phillips trying to get closer. Floats it up. Gets it a goal. Right now, UP switching everything. Everything here. Malik Diouf tried to switch and good recovery. Five points for Michael Phillips. So oh, nice dash off inside. Francis Lopez. Right place. Getting his first two in this ball game. 
Ganda na naging progress nito si Francis Lopez. I mean, the way that he scores, finds himself in areas on the court. As we see a three right there, another weapon for Kevin Kiambao. Well, this guy, he doesn't just pass. He can also shoot. Remember yeah. that, Kevin Kiambao. That's right. He doesn't have, he's not limiting himself to the mentality of a big man. And he's thinking like a guard and he's moving like one. Ooh! Tee up on the drive. He gets fouled. He's going to be shooting two free throws again. He's being aggressive. Yeah. Now look at that three right there. No hesitation at all. You catch it, you shoot it. But boy, Malik Diouf, that finger roll. Isang, isang, isang stride lang ando na kagad eh. Bilis. <laughs> Bilis. Mahaba. Mahaba si Malik kasi Diof, yeah, eh. Malik. Get good touch from the free throw too. And very important yan sa mga big man. Mm -hmm. So how do you like the view here when you're not watching the players? <laughs> <laughs> Sabi nga natin, we have attracted a lot of people mm -hmm. to come down here. It's a fail oil, echo oil. In Sun Juan, it's Mark Nonoy, lets it fly. Nope, can't get it to go. D up the rebound. We're inside two minutes of the first quarter. UP led by as much as 10 here, protecting an eight point lead right now. That's all so far going one out of five from three. Oh, how do you get an offensive rebound? Laban K. Michael Felix. Raylan Torres, he had a lot of minutes playing yesterday. Yeah, that's just sheer will. I mean, the guy's taller than you, and you're able to position, get into contact, will miss that shot, you get it back up. Presence of mind, Ren, I think agad, eh, no? Oh, yeah. Because the guard, John, they would dribble it out and try to set another offense. Right now, they're really pushing the pace. BJ David is shooting two free throws here for La Salle. Oh, it drops. It decides to drop. Ayan. Alam ba nila kung nasaan kayo? <laughs> <laughs> well, at least again, alam na nila. Oh, yeah. And they're just enjoying their time here watching these two teams battle it out. One other player from the Archers that I'm very interested in how he'll mix up with, with the lineup here is uh, Raven Cortez. Yeah. That guy's been very solid for the Archers so far in their previous games. So UP with possession here. Leyland Torres, where does he go oh, to? What Malik Diop, one pump fake, puts it up, puts it in. And Malik Diop able to put a shoulder on the chest of Phillips. Taking a look at this play in UP fighting Maroon's coach Mike. Yeah. He just out positioned the Phillips there, and Phillips trying to return that favor. Diop was called for the foul at the other end, and that'll pay for Michael Phillips to shoot three throws. He's constantly moving. He's not pinning himself on the post area. He's going to the spots where he's needed. Well, pagpapahingayin muna siya. Coach Goldwyn, I believe he's got two personal fouls. And this is just the first quarter. With still over a minute remaining, Michael Phillips continues to be very good mm -hmm. shooting free throws here. He gets the first one. Still got another one, though. Expect the press coming here for LaSalle. Two for two. That trip for Michael Phillips. He's got seven points in the ball game. Quick reply at the other end. And Cyril Gonzalez gets himself involved in the scoring here for the UP Fighting Maroons. Kevin Kiambao was the last line of defense. Couldn't do anything on that leash oh, oh, this time. Kiambao, oh, oh, oh. magkabila ang corner yan. Ah. Yeah. So he's got six in the ball game. And those are uh, two three-pointers delivered by Kevin Kiambao for LaSalle. As if telling us these corners, they're mine. Yeah. <laughs> And he's telling everybody what else he can do with the basketball. 
Ito importante dyan is how he shoots it eh, without hesitation. Catch and shoot immediately as we see this lead pass right there. Good read and quick movement here. Ni hindi na nag-isip mag-dribble eh. Talagang he's looking for his shots outside. That's what we're looking for. Actually, the future of Philippine basketball. You got yeah. some big guys who could shoot from beyond the arc. Yeah, gone are, like you know, it's it's been cliche, but gone are the days that you know a big man would be posting up. Totoo yeah. In fact, some coaches would argue that you know you, you don't say anymore na may big man na sasabihin na meron siyang guard skills because it doesn't matter anymore what position you're playing. You have to have guard skills. Or he plays like a guard. Splitting his charities, Raylan Torres. Up eight at UP, LaSalle. Oh, Raylan Torres with a foul at midcourt. Well, those, that's the second foul, I guess, that uh, Coach Goldwyn is not going to be happy with. Earlier, uh, Harold Alarcon had the same thing. And ito, nasa half court din, na foul naman ni Raylan Torres. Penalty. Yeah. And Mark Nonoy will be given a chance to score his first points in this ball game. Sabi ko nga, chance lang. Missing the first. Well, he's been cold so far. Hasn't converted from the field and he's missed his first free throw. But, you know, you know what Mark Nonoy can do. You know. 25-18 lead. John John Felicilda back in the ball game. Para sa UP Fighting Maroons. Mm -hmm. Long inbound him. Nice catch. Cherry Abadiano. Hand off inside. Michael Phillips coming up with a steal. Look at Kevin asking for it like a point guard. Whoa! Not only from the corner. Oh, well, they quickened the pace. Yudgalang it backfired for LaSalle. Staring at this seven point advantage versus UP with. Basically, 20 seconds remaining here in the first period. Shot clock is off, too. We're going for the last shot here. Now, Felicilda makes a move. Going to the corner to set back three. That's an air ball. There's still time. Oh, Ooh. wow. Nakabing with Panang foul with 0.4 of a second remaining before we end the first. That's just instinct right there by Austria. And even on a Nelly Spart, just throw it up, find an open guy that's ahead of you. Cyril Gonzalez was called for the foul. And now a chance para Rito Salasal with just four tenths of a second. Austria shooting two free throws, missing the first one. Boy, the free throw's been a struggle here. Lately, on those last two trips, so far they're six out of eight. Making the second. Well, so much for what has happened here for the first ten minutes of action. That's what we have been mentioned. The most anticipated ball game scheduled for today here. It's UP fighting Maroons. Lost yesterday, but coming up. With the lead after the end of the first 10 minutes versus LaSalle, they're having their way inside. Like everybody's contributing, but Kevin Kembao just doing Kevin Kembao things as normally and as usual. Uh -huh. But what about those couple of three pointers from both oh, corners yeah. in their front court? As we see, Malik Diop, he's got two personal fouls, but he has already made the big contribution at the end of the first 25 19. It's UP with the lead.
Back here at the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center in San Juan. It's uh, UP leading LaSalle after the first quarter. Just by six. They were down by as much as ten. And Raven Cortez, we saw him just checked in the ball game for the Green Archers. And this is the second quarter. How are you all doing? Enjoying your weekend? Benji Santiago, Coach Mike Perez, Megan Cabrera at court side. And right now, Diouf and uh, Michael Phillips both leading all scorers with seven points. <laughs> How about oh, what that a shot. shot by Jerry Abadiano. Parang humihiga na sa era na ipasok pa rin. Actually, pwede mo yung pag-switch ng places doon si Abadiano at si Raylan Torres. Eh. Very oh. similar build, very similar movement. Loves to score. Good good touch from outside too. Jerry Abadiano has five points in a ball game. Oh, unforced turnover there as uh, Felicildas was caught you know, taking steps on that inbound. Lasal getting back ball possession here. They go with their half court. Raven Cortez. How about this three for Lasal? They had two courtesy of Kevin Kimbao. Not that time around. Yeah, and Evanelli already took off that uh, headband. Okay, uh -huh. Also a struggle for Evan Nelly. I don't right. think he's managed to score yet. Yeah, he saw out the three from Ooh. the field. Kevin Kambao deflecting that pass. Clocks. Ball goes back to UP. Clock's ticking for UP here. Two seconds to shoot. John John Felicilda. Oh, oh, wow! Seven Gagate just following up on that miss. Talk about right place, right time. Back to another 10-point lead here for UP. They come out with another steal here. But retaken here by LaSalle, courtesy of Evan Nelly. Oh, oh, and they throw it away. Good counters here. I thought maybe Kevin thought that uh, Coach Topex was a, a teammate on the floor. Been a little too excited at the Kevin Kambao. But I was going to say, very interesting counters on both ends for both teams. They countered, uh, well, UP responded to that horns play of uh, the Archers. And the Archers responding with that steal on the other end by Evan Nelly. 29-19 for UP. It's John John Felicilda. Malik Diop, some touch passing here, but there's going to be a foul. And a contact spotted here against LaSalle. Boy, when you have Malik Diouf and Belmonte on the floor at the same time, every time that slot-to-slot -slot pass comes in, expect the other big guy to be diving on the middle for a free post up in the middle. Evan Nelly called for a foul. Quick inbound play here for UP. Second serving, Malik Diouf. Oh, this duo of Belmonte and Malik Diouf really very potent here for the Fighting Maroons. Kevin floats it up. Malik Diop comes down with a rebound. Biggest lead in the ball game at 12 for UP, and they have the basketball. Ooh. Gets the basket, heard the whistle, puts it up. Cyril Gonzalez has got four in the ball game, and he's still going for a bonus free throw. Wow, look at that floater there by Cyril Gonzalez. Yupi just constantly in motion offensively. And Kevin Cambaos goes to the bench, takes a breather. Mahirap kalaban yung nanggaling sa talo. Eh. Oh, yeah. Tapos yung unang talo. Lalo na kung may mga lessons learned dun sa previous game you na yun, that you're just applying and testing. You know? The constant shuffling of his players here for Coach Topex Robinson. Well, you could say almost a complete lineup here for UP, except for JD Cagolang, who's yeah. recovering from that injury. But still, you know, powerhouse uh, guards we have here for the Maroons. There you go. Good basket here, Jonel Policarpio. 34 21. The team was the largest lead. It was kept down by Jonel Policarpio's basket. Mm -hmm. 
and, and much much as we harp about Belmonte on UP, there's also Policarpio on La Salle that can do equally the same. Deal has to put it up. Can't get it to go. It was a hurried shot. They're getting lucky, getting back ball possessions. Yeah, just so much activity on UP. Really wanting that possession more than anyone. This time, shot clock reads two. Oh, bailed out. A foul is called on La Salle. Well, Fortea tried to sidestep there on the right side. No way he was going to take that shot, but able to get into contact. Malupit, eh. Tatlong free throws pa ito yeah. for Terrence Fotea. Okay, even si Guliena nagulat and so he was asking for that, for an offensive foul because he felt that uh, Fortea actually jumped into his space. Well, he missed on the first of the three mm -hmm. free throws rewarded him. Knocks down the second. Not at all bothered by the band brought in by LaSalle. Lasal ba sila o UP? Kasi maangot eh. Naman lasal, ano? <laughs> Pero mamayang ingiti na yan. <laughs> Two of three for Terence Fontea. Evan Nelly still can't get himself going here in this ball game. But they got it back. Evan Nelly really trying to catch a rhythm here. Oh, oh. He wants to get in the flow of the game. Nagpahiyang na nga, nagtanggal na ng headband eh. Bright, one ko, traveling. Traveling violation, yep. Little horn spray of that feet to the corner with a dive by the big. Oo oh, yeah. nga. Wala nang dribble, dribble. <laughs> Back to another 15-point lead here. For UP. Look oh, at Malik wow. going all the way. Guanco with a foul. Two free throws coming up for Malik Diof. This point center. Yeah. <laughs> UP. And, and nobody checking him. I mean, nobody stopping that ball that high for from the Green Archers. He, they're just allowing him to bring that ball down exactly. there. Exactly. They never expected that kind of a move yeah. from Malik Diof. Right. The defenders of LaSalle. You know, multiple times you've seen it in this game, Benji. It's very, it's very, very active. Yeah. He's trying to get a lot of possessions here. Still has to check on his free throws, though. Sila kaya? Ah, nakangiti. UPN. Figuring it all out for ourselves. <laughs> and split charities for Malik Tiof. So far in the second quarter, LaSalle could only muster two points. And almost four, four minutes gone by. Dio has got 10 points in the ball game. So Pablo checks in. Mark Belmonte, parang wala eh. Yeah. Hindi nga siya nabibigyan ng ball eh. Right. Jonel Policarpio against Malik Diop. Absorbs the contact, puts it up. Can't get it to go. Malik Diop, ball tapped out of his hands. Oops. Oh, good thing that Malik was okay. This is one guy that uh, Coach Topex could actually look to, to get going. Laluna, you only have um, Kevin Kiambao and Phillips scoring for the bigs. You need that third guy, and hopefully that guy, man's going to be Policarpio. Evanelli, the long inbound. That's going to be a foul. Fighting off the pick here for UP. Look at Coach Topex constantly talking to his boys here. Yeah. I thought okay. he was talking to his players. <laughs> he was talking uh, to the reps. Uh. Pala. Well, the looks of things they're calling a zipper play here. So somebody's gonna Iverson out. Another one's gonna dive on the other end. There you go. Oh, that's seal here. The long arms of Malik Diaz throwing a long pass. 
The finish! Ooh. Hindi nangyayari. Now Archers now on a 4-2 run. Nelly, nice set up here. And AJ Abadan back with a scoring the way he did it back in the first period. Finally stops that bleeding for the Archers to get another two. 14-point lead here for UP. Felicilda. Yeah. All the flow are banking it in. Cyril Gonzalez. Yep. And twice we've seen that slot-to-slot -slot pass ending with a big man on a dive that time around Luis Pablo, but that finish on the other end with that float. Ooh. Another basket. Hit a quick reply over at the other side. Wow, you can't even afford to blink in this ball game. Looking like a layup drill, you know. 16 point advantage, cut down to 14. So EJ Abadam once again knocking down a jumper. Hindi lang umakit yung bola. Nice move for John John Felicinda, but LaSalle made a stop. Evan Nelly. Finally! And the pace has really picked up here, Bench. Faster conversions back and forth between these two teams. Well, you love it that way. We love it the same way, too. Up and down, up and down, getting baskets. Both teams. UP still ahead. Going to the timeout. The coaches needing to talk to their players. We'll give them that, and we'll be right back with more. Archers, where the UP Fighting Maroons are up 41 to 29, and the reinforced UP roster is actually met by the loaded squad from the Green Archers side. And for Coach Topex Robinson, he is just bringing all of his team's talents here to get better with every opportunity. With a new system and a new culture in place, he says that this team is a work in progress, particularly in solidifying their relationships, which can help make a team. But working double time and all the efforts they are putting in right now are all part of the quest for a championship. And kahit pagod, sabi nga niya, you can't win a championship without sacrifices. Benji and Coach Mike. Well, he was called for, uh, he was warned actually for continuous yeah. complaining. We need to talk to his players. Siguro panggising din niya yun eh, sa mga players yeah. niya. When you get the attention of the referees. Yeah. But good report there by Megan, lalo na that part where he says, you know, hindi pwedeng mapagod because you have to bring oh, it button. always. Especially against the bigger teams. Basketball is a game of level, so at this level, you have to be able to perform and respond and uh, do it at your potential. Well, remember, De La Salle has yet to lose here in their campaign for the preseason cup. They got a basketball that's going to be an easy finish for Jonel Policarpio. And boy, the fast break points have really piled up here for both teams. Forty-one thirty-one. The lead has been cut down to ten. La Salle and UP unable to score. Michael Phillips, look at him grabbing that rebound, bringing down the basketball. EJ Abadan, the guy with a hot hand for La Salle so far. Evanelli launches it. <laughs> And it's a three-pointer. Got his first basket here in the second period earlier with a layup. And now follows it up with a three-pointer. And Nelly now's got five points across. What a move Ooh. by CJ. Well, that was an offensive foul? Yes, it's an offensive foul. It has been called in CJ Cancino here. Yeah, and look at that huh? pass skip at the top. Evan Nelly just knocking it down straight through. And there's that ward by CJ. Marami naman yung mga palitan to ah. <laughs> Litaan niya yung binabanggit ni Ryan, yung ating video <laughs> announcer. Of players coming in and out. Yeah. Pero the De La Salle have done their thing here, yeah, right. right? Before we end the second quarter. And Coach Goldwyn sensing this momentum here for La Salle immediately responds with substitutions. 
down by as much as 16 and look at how they managed to come back. Well, Coach Goldwyn checking in with our table officials right now. So Jelly Abadiano now comes in for Cyril Gonzalez. Gonzalez yeah. Was he holding on to his lip? I think I saw him holding on to his lip, maybe. Oh, my. Could be hurt. Might as well attend to him. Boy, look at Malik Diouf now covering the entire length of the floor on that press as he manned on Mike Phillips. Mike Donoy. Ooh. Yes, getting it to go. It's a back-to-back three-pointers here. Earlier, Evan Nelly. Now, Mark Nonoy, 41-37. The lead has been cut down to four. What a ball game. And earlier, they were shooting 15% from threes. The Archers now shooting 40%, going four out of ten. Uh-oh. That ball has nowhere to go. Evan Nelly picks it up. Another three. Back to back, to back for Mark Nonoy. That's three triples in the quarter here for the Archers, Benji. Coach Goldwyn wondering what happened. He needs to clarify a lot of things with his boys now. What happened to that 16-point lead? Well, for one thing, Mark Nonoy happened for LaSalle. Well, before we ensue with the ball game here, so there's a technical foul that has been called on LaSalle. And this is a technical free throw by Jerry Abadiano. It has been a 15 to 0 run until that happened. Mm -hmm. So UP has finally managed to get a point and have ball possession here. They led by as much as 16, two and a half remaining here in this first half. Oh, what a way for the Archers to respond here. Uh-oh. Got to focus, get more concentration, handling that oh. basketball. And Kevin Kambao just kept in pace with Luis Pablo as he went down, as Mark Nonoy tried to tap the ball from behind. For all you kids watching out there, you should learn from, from Mark Nonoy that every time you get beat defensively, always try and tap the ball from behind. Torculas is back in the ball game. He started this one for Coach Goldwyn. And he was utilized heavily yesterday, although in their loss. Cherry Badiano lets it fly. Evanelli throws a long pass. Mark Nonoy, good catch. How oh, about this wow. win? Could have been something else yeah. for Lasan. <laughs> that was a free 3 2 for Francis Escandor. And right now they're setting up their play here. Leyland Torres. Inside two minutes. What a first half that we have seen here. And one! Leyland Torres Ray scoring and gets fouled. Yeah, Raylan Torres just attacking that defense by Kevin Kambao. Had him at be get behind him, try to finish. Good scoop shot by Raylan. How was he able to come up with a shot against the taller yeah. Kevin Kambao, but he missed the bonus. 
I UP guess, by four. Yeah, I guess it was all footwork for Raylan. Trying to him. beat that defense by Kevin Kembao. Played a lot of minutes yesterday. Raylan Torres. Mark Dono with a step back three. He's got a couple of them already here in the first half. Jerry Abadiano. What a catch in a basket for Torculas. Well, I talked about Briones as one guy that I like from UP. Dito naman, itong si Torculas, equally the same thing. Good kick, nice ball movement. Kambao, short with that three. Evanelli the behind the back. Mark Nonoy open, it's short. And Francis Lopez the rebound. Going to Malik Diouf. Checks it out, Jerry Abadiano hesitates with a three, floats it up from the baseline. That oh, is in wow. by Malik Diouf. Malik Diouf not just giving up on that set for the Fighting Maroons. Tried to trail from behind. LaSalle was knocking on the door of UP. Yeah. And then they called a timeout. Mm -hmm. A technical was called in LaSalle. And then action resumes. And Malik Diouf has got 12 with less than a minute remaining here. UP by 8. Welcome, welcome everybody. Thank you for watching our stream. So Phil Oil, Echo Oil Sports and uh, Smart Sports. Thank you for your comments. We know you're enjoying. Let's keep it coming. 48-40 for UP. Lasal with the basketball. Michael Phillips, a nice fake. Awkward with that left-handed jump hook. But he gets it back. Evanelli. Outside shot, won't go. Torculas earlier with a basket, grabs the rebound, and Jerry Abadiano waits for his friends from UP. Uh, you can't fault Evanelli for taking that shot. He's free, he's a designated shooter, he can make it from there. That's not falling right now for him, at least for those last two attempts. Torculas with a quick spin move. Can't get it to go. Evanelli looks at the clock here. This is Michael Phillips Ooh. taking it strong. Great move on Michael Phillips. Oh my, two players down on the floor on the other end. Phillips with nine in the ball game. You see that? You see that finish by Michael Phillips? Michael Phillips, yeah. That's over Francis Lopez right there. Now the another chair. Oh. Take off Kagade. This was that dive underneath. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Francis Escandor. Pulling down Malik Diouf. Yeah. Uh, somebody was already calling Malik Diouf. Zay Malik. Andre Paras. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's really him. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Well, he always splits his charities. Let's see here. He missed the front end. How about the second one? Yep. So yun parin for uh, well trying to beat the clock before it expires. And just try to imagine a lot of things, almost everything has happened in the first two quarters. Yes, we just ended the first half. UP. Just taking care of a seven-point lead after two quarters versus LaSalle.
And after two quarters, UP Fighting Maroons leads by seven versus De La Salle University Green Archers. And what a ball game that we have seen here so far. Then G Santiago, Coach Mike Perez, uh, doing the coverage for all of you as we take a look at Malik Diup, who's got 13 in the ball game, top scoring for the Fighting Maroons. He has done almost everything here. He's got two personal fouls. What about big guy Kevin Kambao? In both corners, he was able to score a three. And uh, UP, the banking shot. And Evanelli coming alive here with those passes. And, of course, the accuracy of his shots from the outside. Knocking him down. Evanelli, what a struggle. Scoreless back in the first period. And Mark Nonoy. <laughs> I've already made mention. Mark Nonoy happened for LaSalle. And that's why LaSalle is back in this ball game. How do you figure this one out after two quarters, Coach Mike? Well, the pace has really picked up in the last part of the uh, the, the first half. As we look at the shooting percentages, uh, 48% field goals here for Fighting Maroons. Getting more second chance points and getting that in uh, better than uh, LaSalle. Out rebounding LaSalle, 25-22. Yung, yung, yung turnover 9 versus 11 really medyo unforced yung mga turnover minsan para dito sa Lasal they have to take care of that although they're doing a better job defensively inside the paint as they made 4 blocks as uh, the Fighting Maroons could, uh, could not show any but other other stats that we're seeing also is yung 28 na points in the paint versus 16 again in favor of UP the only guy in double figures Malik Dio unstoppable Cyril Gonzalez also with his nine points, Sherry Abadiano with six. Over here at the other side, Michael Phillips. Yes, he's back for La Salle. Mm -hmm. EJ Abadam with his eight and seven for Mark Nonoy. Now, what else is lacking for La Salle? They're playing catch-up almost the entire first half here. Well, I think really it's it's really more of the slow start uh, by, by La Salle uh, with Kevin Campbell coming off the bench. I don't know if that's a, that's a factor, but for me, I think that is. As we see the standings here, Benji, of the two groups. La Salle is yet to be beaten, but they find themselves down here in this first half. UP Fighting Maroons trying to bounce back from that loss yesterday. They're holding a 3-1 win-loss card. St. Clair tied up with UP with their 3-1 win-loss card, winning an earlier game, a close one, versus FEU. And so we're just going to be taking a break, and when we come back, we're going to be uh, continuing with the second half of action this Game UP versus LaSalle. And of course, we're still right here. This venue, the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center in San Juan. A lot is managed to uh, come in, check out what's happening here. Of course, it's UP versus La Salle. What else can you expect? And so we're just so happy that uh, we could uh, actually broadcast to you, live stream this ball game. Might be preseason, but the festive atmosphere here seems like this is already a championship game, Coach Mike. Yeah, and even before we get in deep on this game, as we see this finish here by Francis Lopez, some people we gotta read out. Happy birthday to Boots Arsenas, and I get well soon to Doctora Tintin Flores, and also happy birthday Paul Babiera, and to the entire Bloss, MK Blossoms family, Tinoy and Jen. Rainier and Lan, MJ and K Dudley, and to your future partner, Jao Arsenas also is watching. Thank you very much for watching. And Charles Adrian Pugal, happy viewing to you from Jason. Yeah, thank you very much for doing so, paying attention to what's happening in this ball game. As Kevin Kambao knocking down his third three-pointer in this ball game. And I want to say a special mention to Dr. Atina Gonzalez Flores to get well soon so that we get you back uh, having fun and uh, with Toto and the family. 
There's that high-low again that didn't happen. Diop against Juan Cole. Oh, nice God. pass. Chelia Badiano yeah. is fouled. Yeah, just, just keeping in motion, constantly moving without that ball, giving a good spot or target for Malik to find. And from that height, he can easily spot you as you dive for that uh, action. Jerry Abadiano taking care of the first free throw. Mm -hmm. So basically, Malik Diouf has got three assists here in this ball game. Spreading the charities for Jerry Abadiano and LaSalle with Mark Nonoy. He's got the ball. He puts up the shot. It decides to go out. Kevin Cabal, another three! Oh, that Bang! looks good. Uh, he's hit almost every spot on the floor from the three. That's his fourth in back-to-back -back threes for Kevin Cabal to get things going for LaSalle here in the third period. Yeah, he's got 12 points and 12 minutes of action to go with one rebound and an assist. Francis Lopez thinking about it. Kevin Cabal is on him. He's in the paint. Goes for the fall away. Falls short. And here comes LaSalle. DJ David. Yeah, and that's. Wow, catch and shoot. Oh. <laughs> Kevin Cabal. Wow. What happened? And the guy's feeling it right now. This guy from Muntin Lupa is starting to feel it from that range. What did they give him in the dugout during oh, the yeah. half? <laughs> We'd like to have some of that too. Limana. Andres to Kevin Cabal. That's too high of a play intended for Francis Lopez. LaSalle at the numbers here. Oh, oh wow. Yo. Bright one call for a little while. Nobody was sure what they're going to do with that basketball. Sure looked like LaSalle was egging Kevin to take another shot from three. But Kevin deciding otherwise. He's got an open lane and could easily loop it into the big guy. This is the way they were doing it. Just going to Malik Diop as yeah. he goes cutting to the basket. Yeah. He's going to be shooting two free throws once again. He's got 13 points. And, and each time on that dive, Malik's going to be a force to contend with, especially with that uh, height and length. He gathers his teammates, talk to them before he takes free throws here. Mm -hmm. It's like saying, you got to help me out. Yeah. And the thing is, when, when Malik Diu slips that pick and roll, he's going inside there no? oh, wow. <laughs> shaded there it's not like how other big men would slip they'd go to the perimeter for those jumpers and since he doesn't have that that range he'd be better off slipping going inside they have missed both La Salle have made some headway here Kevin Kambau another three a heat check for them nevertheless they yeah. have the lead here 53-52 First time in this ball game that they're at the driver's seat. But I feel what's important is that if you're a LaSalle fan is that Kevin just keeps on shooting. Because you want, you want him to make it from the outside so that it opens up that area for him to operate and facilitate from there. Wow, a warning for faking a foul, Kevin Kambao. Well, a big turnaround here in the third quarter, huh? Mm -hmm. La Magda and La Salle. Michael Phillips will be fielded back in to replace Craig Nuanquo. A lot of time here in the third period. Pero somehow, ito talaga yung feeling mo na eventually magkakabantayan itong dalawa to Kevin Kiambao and Francis Lopez. Totoo yan. Lalo na in the big games. Get, you get to see, Laluna, if I feel that Kevin Kambao starts knocking down those trees and you know, doing Kevin Kambao stuff, that guy's going to be the best guy for um, UP to cover him. Okay, what else has to be cleared here before we could continue with the ball game? Well, it has been announced. Oh, okay, anyways. 
Let's just focus on the ball game here. <laughs> the mga minor details eh, not affecting the game at all. Sige lang. Right. Let's go ahead. Preseason ito eh. Mm -hmm. 53-52 for LaSalle. Francis Lopez. He's got to get his head into this ball game. Parang wala eh. Yeah, Kani kanina medyo maganda yung nilalaro niya nung, nung first half. But itong second, and so far as uh, field goals, wala pa. And uh, they'll expect more from him. Lalo na yung mga previous game, very active siya offensively. The air ball. All the sound. Now, this is one guy who hasn't started coming in yet. Oh, 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 oh what? Oh, oh, everything but the shot right there. Kembao comes down with the rebound. Donoy lines it up for the three. Can't knock it down. They got an offensive rebound. And the putback goes in for CJ Austria. Uh, good patience there by CJ Austria. Waited for that right moment to put it in. 55-52. Hard off the glass for Francis Lopez. Malik deal for the follow. Still nothing for UP. And to your point, Benji, see Francis Lopez got to settle down. You know, he's rushing a bit things. Michael Phillips puts it up. Nope. D of clears. Felicilda setting up the play here. Abadiano. D of. On the drive. Puts it up. Was trying to get that offensive rebound, but Michael Phillips beats him to it. There's that initial drag here. Phillips long distance. Nope. Lopez goes for the throw. There you go. Seven points for yeah. Francis Lopez. Yeah, important, John. You're not gonna give up despite those, you know, misses earlier. You gotta keep shooting. Tied up at 55. Oh, is that on the floor? Felicilda. Best opportunity to score on the layup. EJ Abadam comes back into the game here. Nine seconds on the shot clock, nine seconds to shoot. LaSalle, the shot clock says nine. Now play. <laughs> Ebanelli. How about that pass in that read? As if yeah. it's all choreographed. Yeah. As if they have been practicing that for a long, long time. Caught on thinking that plan. Yeah. Turkulas <laughs> not looking at the ball. You gotta see man and ball. And Phillips just could not complete the three-point play. Nevertheless, they have the lead here. 57-55. Five minutes remaining. Here in the third. And LaSalle once again going on that zone. Quick pass, Malik nice. deal. Wow. Well, that's somehow that's one of the best ways to break a zone. Get it into that short corner and let the big man dive. Phillips thought about it, goes for it. That's short. That's a three pointer that you wanted to make. Yeah. You, you feel his hesitation because he to mirror the perimeter. Hindi po maasok eh. But if you're that wide open, you gotta take it. John John Felicilda penetrates, try the hand off inside, nobody was there. Torculaz was not exactly uh, expecting the pass. A short this corner. is a nice one yeah. here for UP yeah. earlier. Get that on the short, yeah, get out on the short corner and let the nail guy dive. Flash Express. 57. All. Abadiano lost it. No, actually, bola pa rin ito ng Lasal. Oh, not anymore. <laughs> now here's Jerry Abadiano. Stop and pop move. Long and strong. Trying to get it back. It's going to be called for the foul. Why we were expecting that shot to go in. That was a specialty of the house for... Shot in yun yung feeling niya. Yeah, yung feeling niya. Because he got a good rhythm, it was a jump stop, one motion. And you do that in practice with nobody guarding you, you expect that to go in. As they say, shooters can already feel right. their shot if it's going in or not. 
Kevin now gets a breather. Policapio in his place on the floor. Another big man for LaSalle. Oh, offensive foul. Yeah, moving screen. Oh, no, it was CJ Austria, sorry. Once again, UP led by as much as 16. Mm -hmm. And then what a big run in the second period for LaSalle. And so far, LaSalle's been outscoring UP in this quarter, 15 to 8. Quick foul given up by UP. Badiano picks up his second. Oh, this oh, there's is how that it happened. Shove, yeah. Yeah. He wanted to prevent uh, Phillips. Mike, yeah, Phillips from claiming that post slot. He didn't want to get sealed by Phillips. Yeah, he had to do that. Here's Evan Nelly. Michael Phillips. Back to Nelly. Shoots a three. Can't get it to go. Diouf with another rebound for UP. Torres bit a bullet there going under the screen with Evan Nelly. Double double performance already for Malik Diouf. His 11th rebound earlier. UP can't find the target. In that offense, stuck at 57, all three minutes remaining. Evanelli with the extra pass. Phillips! How was he able to put up that shot off balance and everything? Wow, talk about upper body strength and control. But you gotta go back and defend too. The meantime, and I set up job once again here. For Malik Diop to score. Oh, that <laughs> one looked real good. John El Policarpio. So if it's not Kevin Kambao, it's John El Policarpio. Yep. That middle ball screen with Evan Yele and Phillips hitting that shake action. Abadiano trying to tie the score with this three. No, did not happen. And make no mistake about it, Policarpio's got that range too from the outside. Seven points for Jonel Policarpio in this ball game, and let's see here a foul against Raylan Torres. A little pinch action there between, as we see this pass, difficult finish there by Phillips, and look at that dive though by Malik Diouf of that CJ spin. This one's that shake action, right straight and through for Policarpio. Ganda ng exchange ng yeah, mga ano, yeah. last three sequence na yun, no? Just shows you the quality of basketball on the offensive end these two teams are playing. The Sal just by three. Two minutes remaining here in the third. Welcome back to the third quarter of this matchup and tables have turned as LaSalle leads 62 to 59 over UP and UP's upcoming season will have a lot riding on the rookies they have coming in and their transition from high school to collegiate basketball has been both smooth and challenging according to their management. They have been showing that they belong to the collegiate ranks but at the same time, alam rin nilang bata pa ang mga players. According to coach Mo Gingrich, UP assistant coach, kailangan pa nilang magmature. Kung ngayon ang UAAP hindi pa sila ready, so they aim to make the most of the three remaining months. Benji and Coach Mike. Well, that's how it is, you know. Pero pag ako sinaba, sinabihan ka agad na kailangan magmature, kami nga nagdatahan <laughs> dahil. We're <laughs> no, trying to age gracefully, yeah, yeah. you know. Not, not at its age. Maybe on their age, maybe you want to mature quickly. But at this age, 
No, but that, that's it's a right, right thought process. I, I feel also that game uh, yesterday by UP was actually a test on how these guys would uh, start maturing totally, yeah. under those situations. Lalo na if you know you don't have your, your big guns and the, the senior players on the floor. So well, they tried that yesterday, right. using most of their players off right. the bench, the new ones, right. getting their baptism of fire. Yeah. Pero yun nga nangyari, natalo sila. Yeah. So right now, it's basically a combination. Right. Uh, the guys who are, who are reliables, yeah. it's a mixture of those coming off the bench. Yeah. And there, butterfingers here for Lasal. And I'm sure Benji, yung game kahapon na yun, well, a lot of it has got to do with winning. Well, for the most part, it also has a lot to do with learning. No? Oh, oh, tama, uh, so, tama. you know, either way you win it. Because right now, they're applying the, some of the lessons learned. Gulliana has been called for a second. And LaSalle already in penalty. Mm -hmm. And Raylan Torres will be shooting two free throws. Down by three. Five points for Raylan Torres. Make that six. He's also got three assists along with a rebound. From afar, talaga mo papag switch mo tong si Abadiana tsaka tong si ano, si Raylan Torres. Exactly. Eh. Raylan Torres putting his charity here. 62-60. May ago dito ang UP. Torculas puts it up. Banks, no. He got it back. Underneath, nice pick. Ooh, wow. <laughs> Woo, Aldous Torculas. Loving that. How about that pass by CJ finding Torculas underneath and that fake to get that defense to fly by. And he wanted everybody to know the effort that he has just made. Yeah. And it results in a foul. He's got a bonus free throw. This guy's made for in basketball inside the shaded area. And he's not going to be or mapagod. Ooh, clear down on the floor. Rejay of Adam, and he's going to foul. You see that again. Ooh. Oh, is that oh, CJ? Oh, oh. Ooh. Oh, he's okay. He's all right. Yeah, scary fall there for. They were holding CJ. their breaths. Everybody from UP. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> for a little while. Those free throw walls for UP, especially here in the third. Grabe. 11 of 25. Uh -huh. Finally, 12 of 26 here. CJ Cancino, another split charities for UP. And UP is back with the lead 63 62. Oh, good split right there. Evanelli, let's exchange baskets. Let's change leads. Well, you just love the way these two teams are really playing. CJ, up balance shot. Voila. Foul was there. And that's the second straight time that a LaSalle player was able to bring down the ball to the floor. This one was the first. Evan Yele with that finish. And the second one by Paul Garbin. Nobody's stopping the guy until he got fouled on his way to the rim. We'll be given two free throws in, Jonel Policarpio. So far, he's got seven points in a ball game. Had a three pointer earlier. Yeah. Makes the first free throw. Tsaka yung baba na yun, ang dalawang archers, talagang full steam ahead eh, no? Hataw yun, Hataw turbo talaga, yun. Eh. Yeah. And so, parang the only way to stop it is to foul them, really, you know? Well, actually, LaSalle is uh, 
taking advantage of the situation that Malik Diouf is yeah. on the bench for right. UP. Right. And again, as they keep Malik on the on the bench, this too could be another test of you know oh, what yeah, adjustments no? do we do in key situations in game. This happens. A mess on that three. Terence Fortea. 66-63, it's LaSalle. They want to clear out here. Kevin Kebao is back on the floor, attacking. Can't get it to go. Underneath. Whoa, Ooh, big block. block. But Aldous Torkulas doing his thing in offense and defense. And then a steal. LaSalle. Uh -oh. uh -oh. Kebao, another uh -oh. three. <laughs> Unbelievable from the outside. That's already his sixth three-pointer, Kevin Kambao. Well, you could already see how Nelly was looking the other way and, you know, seeing him from the peripheral that Kevin's going to hit that other wing spot for the three. 18 points for Kevin Kambao. LaSalle got the ball back he and scores. Yuki's got to answer back now. Well, they're going to try in the fourth quarter. Right, in the fourth, right. Because that's the end of the third period. LaSalle having their way. Kevin Kembao finding his range from the outside. Malik Diop. They need him to be back and more aggressive. Off balance shot by Michael Phillips earlier. And then exchanging the baskets. Fantastic moves. Fantastic baskets and plays that we have seen here in the third. And yet, we still have the fourth quarter coming up. Quarter of action, Kim Kim <laughs> with a lot of sauce. Yep. Yeah, grab the way he's managed to make LaSalle lead their largest right now before we start the final 10 minutes of action. Right. Kevin Kimball, not exactly with a lot of assists, but really those points that they needed, he has been delivering. And here he is, double teaming defense. Malik Diouf lost it at the end line. And of course, Kevin Kambao proudly coming out of the Muntin Lupa City basketball program, where we have some of our viewers also watching Edward Hernandez and Chris Ortiz, Alan Co, Paulo De La Torre, um, Joey Gustilo, everyone else from the Abachigang. Thank you for watching. Beautiful dive there by Phillips. Michael Phillips scoring, and it's now a 10-point lead for LaSalle. The winds of change favoring the Green Archers. Here in the second half, Malik D of no basketball to put up the shot with. It's Kevin Kimbao on the mouth and apologizes. Mm -hmm. Flash Express pass of the game. Well, from one big guy to another yeah. here for De La Salle. Big to big. Yeah, and he's made, he's made that shovel pass, speaking of Kevin Kambao, just the specialty of the house. So to consider for Kevin Kambao, he's only got three assists in the ball game. <laughs> yeah, but he's... he's Very unlikely, you know. Yeah, but he's, he's contributing on the other spot, especially from that three range. Well, you made mention about his Muntin Lupa heritage and mm -hmm. everything, his uh -huh. roots. Well, one thing I can tell you, Kevin Kambao is going up against his former coach in high school, si Coach Goldwyn. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's another storyline too, right? But you know, sometimes you're not good coach, what you taught him <laughs> gets exactly. used against you, right? Oh. <laughs> but I guess the advantage is you know his tendencies, but 
you know, you built that foundation, so you got to go out, uh, go against it eventually. There's a floater of a shot here for LaSalle. Getting it back. Pero ito na ang UP. Oh, napakialaman ni Evanelli. The ball goes out. Last touch pa ang UP. Well, if you're a LaSalle fan, you'd love this uh, defensive activity by Evanelli. It's really not just giving up and staying the course. Lead is eight, large as a ten for LaSalle. UP led by as much as 16. Second serving here. Ayo parang umakit ang bola. Well, LaSalle's been trying to play off that left side of the floor on a two man game, either via pinch or a middle or side ball screen. They're trying to play off of it. Probably to leave that entire area for the big man to make decisions, especially as they go for that role. Palitan ng mga tao for both teams. CJ Austria returns. Malik Dio throws a bad pass inside. Uh, definitely a bad pass. Belmonte could have gone in front of Phillips on that slot to slot pass leading up to that dive. Ang by tanong the big. ko dyan, yung denial ba? Sobra naman, Mark Belmonte, hindi talaga nakakawak ng bola eh. Oo, oh, 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 correct. <laughs> correct. Talagang pinay... Kasi alam nila eh na he's been double figures on the past three right, games. Right. And, you know, I mean, if that guy is scoring that much, don't give him the ball. Well, you can't do anything when you're not touching the basketball. Right. Well, you can help out on, on off ball, but really you're letting others the I opportunity know. to score. So, hindi ikaw yung directly na nag, uh, no, nag score diba? I do believe they're discussing the same thing. Uh, they're, they're analyzing <laughs> the game too. <laughs> it's either that or Marites lang. <laughs> But <laughs> women's basketball starting to grow in the country. Oh, oh the man, Remember when we covered the 3x3 for, wow. Equal opportunity. Yeah. And uh, yun lang yun eh. basketball is not just for the guys. Yeah. You can ask them. You can ask them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 that's a foul. Yeah, that's a foul. It's a dental contact on Mark Nonoy. Mark Nonoy has been... A bit silent after hitting those couple of, of threes earlier. He's got seven points, one rebound, uh -huh. and one assist to show. The three mm -hmm. on its way. Nope. Oh, sorry. Last touch pa. Si Bright. Nuanko. Hawak na. Nawala pa. Yeah. When you look at the scoreboard, it's... Uh, LaSalle up by 8 but that's not a safe lead at all <laughs> finally they get Mark on the spot to score kita mo na nakahawak ng bola di yung score score ka agad di ba all his first basket Mark yeah. Belmonte to right. cut down this lead to only 7 right now 74-67 getting all those offensive rebounds with the is there a Malik Diop good boxing out mm. for LaSalle and look at Mark Belmonte immediately being taught by the coaching staff look at that rebound too CJ Austria will be shooting free throws here Yung ganun kakaliit as makasingit ka ng rebound na. <laughs> Alam mo yun, di ba? That, that's pretty huge. A story of rebounds, 42-38 in favor of LaSalle. Which earlier we were mentioning at the half na, you know, that was advantage to, to UP. But UP. now, oh. mas naging aggressive na on the glass itong uh, LaSalle. Not getting the second one to go for CJ Austria. Another thing that's really stepped up too for LaSalle is fast break points. They now have 21 fast break points after having only what, six or seven at the half. This is a post shot. Luckily for UP, they will keep possession with seven under shot clock. 
Another guy who hasn't really gotten in the flow is uh, Harold Alarcon. I mean, that guy can score middle oh, jumpers, wow. you know, but he's been pretty silent, getting le lesser touches too. John John Pelle sealed it, trying to use the speed against size. Nothing there. Changing hands for the shot. Evan Neely. Oh, what a <laughs> pass! <laughs> How do you like that? Pass. The setup on that jam by Michael Phillips. Yeah, but on the other end, Evan Neely is down on the floor. And they're going to immediately call a timeout here. Boy, see that finish. Beautiful pass by oh, Nelly. Oh, he's got Malik Diouf. Yeah. And he dished off with that assist. And look at that finish, though. You know, he's got Malik Diouf. Yeah. Inadvertent. Well, he did something real, real good, yeah. making your teammate look very, very good. Uh -huh. He's okay. He's all right. That's the 13th assist of Eva Nelly for the game. Wow. To go with seven points and five you rebounds. You think Eva Nelly is Yes, natin. that's right. <laughs> and then couple that with made baskets. I mean, a double-double is always a possibility in game for Eva Nelly. But look at this one. Beautiful you know, yeah. pass. How about that two-foot jumper on that one-hand slam? Yeah, the Michael Phillips. Yeah. The Dolan down, LaSalle up by 10, 77-67. As they say, it's not how you start a ball game, but how you finish. Oh, oh what a steal there, almost. Juan Guo. Juan Guo gets a good pass. Oh. Tries again, backs it in, Michael Phillips. Michael Phillips, very active. Abidi Michael Phillips, sa Cambodia nga eh. Hindi ganito yung Asian yung mga katapat ko eh. Nasasabayan ko eh, no? But man, you know, this this guy in the basketball, in, in social media, has been termed as the local Rod, uh, Dennis Rodman <laughs> of uh, Basal, and rightfully so, because very active. Eh. The proper bench decorum. <laughs> second infraction, technical yeah. foul. Everybody got excited with that travel call. <laughs> From oh, UP, right. yeah, I know. You know, that's the second infraction. I just saw uh, Coach Oliver Bunya talking to the mga players yata ang may infraction eh. Nagre-react So here's that technical free throw. Oh! Har Harold Alarcon still, how many points does he have? He's scoreless so far. Well, I don't see any sign from uh, Coach uh, Goldwyn to bring him back in this ball game. And, oops, oops, take a huh? Offensive foul. Good pesky defense supplied by John John Felicilda. Uh, DJ David. So ball will go back to UP. Oh, yeah, that's an offensive foul, definitely. Warded off Felicilda. Mark Belmonte from the outside. Long and strong. And Kevin Kimbao controls. 79-67. This is the largest lead for LaSalle, but they will turn the ball over with an offensive foul. It's a bright moving pick. But, but did you see that action right there? Without that foul, that could have been an easy setup for Kevin Kambao uh -huh. getting ready to get a return pass. From, uh, was that Austria? Yeah. Michael Phillips ready to check back in right away for La Salle. The most probably to replace it is a bright one. Mm -hmm. But it'll just have to wait. Ball ito ng UP. Chico Briones. I was challenged. That's a foul. Coach uh, Topix na papalundag. Easy lang. Be technical na kayo. Yeah. 
Pero maganda kasi yung movement ng UP even prior to this one. That was good move. They didn't have that uh, high low on that slot to slot. They tried to go hand off on the wing. Na invert pa nga yun. si Pablo oh. na po sa taas nasa baba si Malik Diuf but they couldn't hit that one so they went to that side ball screen. Luis Pablo will be shooting free throws here. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the rookies that you know, Coach uh -oh. Goldwyn is actually building UP for the future. His first point in the game. Yana. So I don't know who they're rooting for. But uh, that's, that's Jela Davokol, one of our ah, okay. really good friends from. Uh, uh, photography. So, yung mga kumukuha ng mga pictures. Ah, yes, yes. Oh. Well, Jelai's got friends on the different schools and players. You know, she built it as she went on you know, taking their photos in game. Ooh, what a pass! Ayun nga lang. Not exactly a nice catch here. Masyado malakas. Mm -hmm. And Coach Topic signaling, easy lang! Yeah. Sometimes si Kevin Kiambao nag-aapura. Sabi niya, konti kasi assist ko eh. <laughs> kulang ano, Tatap kulang, lang eh. Kulang sa average uh, ko that's eh. That's not Kevin Kiambao eh. Yeah. <laughs> Pero kita mo, no? From that angle, for him to... Pero kung nasa na yun? Good yun. May mabagay lang talaga siguro ang sobrang taas na hindi mo maabot. <laughs> meron, meron gano'n, meron talaga. <laughs> Katulad yung mangga dun sa puno namin, kailangan mo ng panungkit. <laughs> eh, masyada mataas yung air eh, sa buhay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Iba naman yan. Iba naman yan. <laughs> uh, let's see, itong UP, all of a sudden, sino pa ang magpapahabol sa kanila rito? But Nelly, so he's okay, huh? Yeah? Yeah. babalik pa siya rito sa ball game na ito. Mm -hmm. To replace VJ David. Boy, when you look at the stat on assists, 23 assists for both teams. Respectively, huh? Kevin Kimbao, another three on its way. He's got a total of six in this ball game. He now put in Mike Nono, a shot from the outside. Here comes UP. Corner three will go and rebound CJ Austria. Well, Harold, Harold's taking his shot within the flow that time around. Really just can't seem to get that through the net. They want a middle ball screen here. Oh no, they give it up. There you go. Little shake action. Kevin Kimbao most probably has run out of ammunition shooting those three pointers, but he's got a total of six. Then a foul at CJ Austria. Loose ball foul. Penalty ang Lasal. Ang problema ang free throw shooting naman ng UP. Mm -hmm. They're shooting 17 of 34. 34 attempts? Grabe. Kevin Kimbao so far, six out of eight from the field. Six out of nine from three. O out of three from two. There are a lot of three points because it's a two-pointer. That's yeah. si Kevin Kiambao. He also has got um, six rebounds. You That's know. what I'm talking about. Paisa-isa lang ang pumapasok na free throws for UP. That was Chico Briones putting his charities. Under the lead, they have managed to cut it down to eight. And behind 12. Michael Phillips, corner three. Avanelli could knock it down. They got oh, another wow. chance here. Just share the ball. But it's an option. Who's going to take the shot? Yeah. <laughs> but but you like that response of uh, Evanelli. Once he missed that shot and Mike Phillips got that offensive board, he knew that the, he had to relocate because his guy was, you know, not facing the basketball. Phillips double double, 20 points, 12 rebounds. Make that 21. Has been steady, shooting free throws. Uh -huh. So we really won't advise you to bring your jackets when you get in here. <laughs> <laughs> 
the heat of the action. The, the irony of this is, uh, the, the, from a point standpoint, is the leading scores are actually the bigs. Oh, oh. Uh, normally, nowadays, it's the guards that's leading it. It's 19 points for Malik Diu, 24, 21 for Michael Phillips, and 18 for Kevin Kiambao. Well, they have some problems. Mark Belmonte was not exactly as productive as yeah. before. Mm -hmm. One thing, Malik Diu. Guy double double tries again. And somebody has got to help him, and then the free throws that yeah. counts a lot. All right. I mean, kalahati lang out of your 35 shots on that convert. You know, yeah. This could have been close. Right. Maybe lamang parito mm -hmm. ang UP. UP missed 18 three uh, free throws rather, just making 18 out of 36. So that's a huge disparity right there. Three minutes remaining, Evan Nelly with a miss. UP. Oh, wow. How about that layup? CJ Cancino getting back into this game, getting back his stroke, yeah. getting that layup. Oh, wow. <laughs> From one CJ to another. Right. Now, well, Austria Namana against Malik Diouf, and he yeah. loved that. And both really just exceptional players, talking of the two CJs. CJ, handoff inside, Malik Diouf. Bumps fake, and gets it to go off the window. Now you got to put a stop here if you're UP. You just can't afford to exchange baskets here with the Archers. Malik Diouf has 23 points in the ball game. CJ Austria is attracted to the man si Malik Diop uh -huh. trying to get a basket. We are into the final terminants. LaSalle just hanging on to a six point lead. They had the chance to score, not that time. A miss. And here comes LaSalle Evanelli. Six points. Far from being a safe lead at all. That slip Kevin Campbell. Nope. Chance for UP as they will get back by all possession here. 91 seconds in this game. I almost always expect that on an empty ball or empty side ball screen, Kevin Campbell is going to slip that because he's going to take that spot for a free three. UP lost yesterday to Adamson. In full force, staring at a deficit of this six-point lead by De La Salle. De La Salle still has yet to be beaten here. Could be big. Oh! oh that's what a big lead. CJ Cancino wanted that. They got it. Far from over. Coach Topex wow. knows about it. Uh-huh. Not at all really a safe lead. CJ Cancino doing the right thing, hitting a big basket to bring it down to only three. Their deficit. And we still got enough time in this ball game to still figure out who will get the win. 81 seconds. What a very festive atmosphere here. The UP fans coming alive after that CJ Cancino three-pointer. Just when they thought, well, your guess is just as good as mine. It's still anybody's ball game here. LaSalle just up by three, 81 seconds remaining. LaSalle basketball here. UP needs to stop. Mm -hmm. LaSalle needs to score. However, which way 
one of those going to happen. Again, it's Benji Santiago, Coach Mike Perez, and of course, Megan Cabrera at court side. Michael Phillips dribbles down the basketball. Evanelli has it. We're going to that middle ball screen again. Evanelli just hanging on to that basketball. Now he makes a move. Shot clock down to eight. Evanelli, Michael Phillips See kicks that it out. How again. about this? Thing? Oh, wow! Kevin Campbell hitting another three pointer. Yeah, you kind of felt that coming because on that second screen, Kevin went down to the corner. And just that shake action on the other end, making that three available. Enough of those fancy passes for Kevin Campbell. And he comes up with a steal here. Kevin Campbell was expecting the referee's whistle. Tried to play around with that basketball. And almost another steal here. CJ Cancino, Malik Diouf drives the baseline, oh, wow. lost it. We can't even hear if the referees were sleeping for a foul or anything here. The band, the crowd that we have here. Yeah. Good spin off the baseline side. Ooh. So they're going to be reviewing this piece of action here. Yeah. Sinuabala such. Did it go off the leg of Malik Diouf? Malik had the right thing in mind because he felt that double was coming on the top side. So he spun baseline. Ooh. Pero yung tapik nga ng bola, no? Hindi nga ba na sundot sa likuran ni... Uh, uh -huh. oh, nahawakan pa ni Evan Nelly. So it's all Malik D of touching the ball last. Ball goes back to LaSalle. A two-possession game here with 27.7 seconds remaining. Mike Nonoy, a balik pa in the game for LaSalle. Two possession game here. No choice but to foul to stop the clock. That's number four on UP. Mm -hmm. They want to try out the tong uh, LaSalle to shoot free throws. So with 25.4 seconds remaining. Long inbound. Mark Nonoy, the layup. What a play for LaSalle. My goodness, touchdown. What quarterbacking for Epanelli. And then some desperation shots here taken by UP. UP will absorb their second loss. Back-to-back -back defeats uh -huh. since yesterday at the hands of Adamson. And now at the hands of De La Salle. For La Salle in the early goings in the first half. Down by as much as 16. Led by as much as 12 here in the second half. They changed the way things Ooh. could have happened here. UP thought they had it going for them. Mm -hmm. And Nassau have other things in mind here in Evan Nelly. Just finishing touches here for Nassau to preserve a 4 0 standing. Well, actually, Lasalle did it by, by committee, you know, different guys stepping up on different uh, parts of the game. Um, Kevin Cambao hit those threes. Evan Nelly started getting hot in the uh, third quarter. And then Michael Phillips with those uh, hustle plays. In the upcoming season of the UAAP, gusto talaga makabalik in the top four nitong Lasal. Yeah. Harold Alarcon, too late the hero that time around. But what a ball game this has turned out to be. Yeah. Even in the final seconds, somebody could really figure out. Well, I'm sure both coaches see something that they like and see something that they need to adjust. Uh -huh. So I think that's really part of the plan to be able to, you know, figure out things that they need to change and build on, especially as you head into the regular season of the UAAP. It resulted into this, a seven-point victory for La Salle. It's now 4-0, and and it's now 3-2 and for UP. This battle considered to be unforgettable. And what a ball game that we have seen here. The return of the two Phillips brothers, especially Michael Phillips. 
Ebanelli quarterbacking here. Results in that jam. Wow. We have seen those three pointers, the accuracy of shooting, especially from Kevin Kambao and Michael Phillips. Welcome back. Walang medal, panalo lang muna ngayon. Meron ka ng medal. But truly, his exposure, Sagilas, yeah. has really improved. Making himself the best player of this ball game. Sort of saying hello again, and he's glad to be back here in the country. Michael Phillips, our best player in this ball game. UP had their chances. Yep. They led big. But on De La Salle University made the necessary adjustment, especially I'm still trying to figure out what they fed Kevin Kembao at the half. Yeah. <laughs> That, that ring looked a little bit bigger come the second half. Not that it, he, he didn't make his shots in the, in the first half. He was making one. But you know, everyone else, Evaniele, Mark Nonoy, even uh, Phillips got into the act. But you know, Malik Diouf just slowed down a little bit in the second half. Yung first, very strong yung, ano, yung start nila. Eh. But this guy here also, Torkulas, getting into this, this action, especially the physicality underneath. But really just setting up Kevin Kambao just sealed the deal para dito sa Archers. You know, this preseason cup, when you lose, you learn. Yeah. When you win, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Kanin lang po yan, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, you have been treated to a very nice game here. La Salle winning over UP just by seven points. Kevin Kambao playing big. And Michael Phillips, best player at the ball game. And of course, it doesn't stop here, huh? As we take a look at the Le La Salle Green Archers with the best record from the two groups so far with this 4 and 0 win loss card. At this time, at the expense of UP will uh, go down to 3 and 2 back to back losses over at the Group A. Perpetual still lording it over with 4 and 1, followed by Mapua and Letran, both with 3 and 1 win lost card. It's going to be very, very interesting and it doesn't stop here. In fact, tomorrow another quadruple header will be on your way and we'll still be streaming it live. So thank you very much. Great for the weekend. Huh? What basketball. At sa ngalan po ng ating mga nakasama, Megan Cabrera and of course Coach Mike Perez here, Benji Santiago. Enjoy your weekend everybody and we'll see you at the ball games.